I'm not even gonna hold you. I had no idea my collection cost this much. Flooding my chain and it goes, yeah. What's the deal gang? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is day 12 of the Project 30 Challenge. The challenge where I upload 30 YouTube videos in 30 days. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on post notifications so you guys know when I'm dropping another video. We're on day 12, bro. So we got plenty of videos to come. But today, I'm shooting a video that you guys actually requested. You guys were actually And I'm actually kind of curious too. What's in my collection one and how much does my collection cost? So we're going to go shoe by shoe, figure out what the retail value is on the shoe. Well, I guess like resale because ain't none of these shoes for retail no more. I mean, yeah, ain't none of them for retail no more. We're going to look at the resale value on these and then tally up how much my collection actually costs. And we're either going to... We're either going to be shocked or we're not going to be shocked at all. So let's get right into the first shoe. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys now, I'm going to use GOAT to verify the price and correspondence with the shoe I have because we all have access to GOAT. You guys can fact check me if you want to fact check me on shoes like prices and whatnot. And I just don't feel like digging to find like the most valuable resale price for the shoe when I can just go on GOAT and find the shoe. So the first shoe, which I already know this is going to probably be the most expensive shoe I have by far, is my Union Ones. I picked these up last year. And the current price on GOAT for a size 10, which is my size, is $1,705. No, I did not pay that price for the shoe. I actually got the shoe for a lot cheaper. Um, well, not a lot cheaper, but a lot cheaper than $1,700. I'll tell you that much. But this is probably the most expensive shoe I have. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like this, and I wear these quite often too. They're a little beat, which I don't mind. Like these are kind of like beat up a little bit, which adds a little bit of character. My dad always told me that when shoes have scuffs, that means the shoes have character. So my Union Ones run for $1,705, which I'm kind of shocked, Okay. The next shoe on the list is my Neutral Gray Jordan Ones. I picked these up earlier this year. I think I actually paid $285 for the shoe, but a size nine and a half on GOAT is $383, which is, I mean, it's more reasonable when it comes to like a resale value of a popular shoe. Like the Jordan 1 is a popular shoe. So 383 for the neutral grays. So the next shoe is one of my more recent pickups as far as Jordan 1s go. It's the Patent Leather Bread 1s. I picked these up recently for 280 I believe, and that's after taxes. The current price for these on GOAT in my size is 252 which is reasonable. 250 is reasonable for a Jordan 1. It's a popular shoe. It's not too expensive. I feel like if you're gonna get a Jordan 1 resale, you're gonna pay anywhere on the upwards of $200 anyway. So $250 for shoe resale is not bad at all. So the last pair of Jordan 1s in my collection are the Lost and Founds. I actually got these as a gift for Valentine's Day for my girlfriend. So shout out Bay for hooking, you, hooking a kid up, you feel me? I didn't pay a dime for these, but the going price for these in my size on GOAT right now is $445. But to put this into retrospect, I got my dad a pair of these in a size 12 and they were 700 and, <clears throat> I can't even say that now, <laughs> $750 for a size 12. This was back when they came out like originally. These are restocking again too. I don't know if you guys saw on social media, but they're restocking the Lost Pounds again. So I got them, but if you catch them at retail, good luck to you. Moving on from the Jordan 1s into my Air Force collection, which I only have all white Air Forces. The first pair, obviously, are the originals, the OGs, the Cocainas. These are $99 on GOAT. If you don't have a pair of all whites in your collection, bro, I'm gonna get you a pair of all whites, bro. This is a simple shoe. Every person, guy or girl, needs a pair of the Air Force Ones. You need a pair of the Air Force Ones. You do. It's just, it's a staple shoe in your collection. I also have the certified lover boy ones as well which i've only worn these like a couple times too these are 199 on go so you don't necessarily need these because the only difference really is like the knock the logo on the back and the certified lover or like the love love you forever on the side but like it's an all-white shoe we can't really tell bro so get you a pair of all whites get you a pair of clbs it doesn't matter but staple shoe in my collection staying within the air force community i also do have the paisley air force ones this is the essential blue colorway I got these in the summertime. I'm not not a fan of them, but I do have them. It's the running price for them on GOAT right now in my, this is a women's shoe. So the conversion from my size and women's size is 11 and a half women's is 149. So I got them, it's a nice shoe. I don't even really wear them like that. It's at the end of the day, it's an Air Force One. So the moral of this breakdown as far as Air Force Ones go, get you a pair of Air Ones, you need them. Summertime shoe, it's a great shoe when you don't really know what color shoes you wanna wear with the fit. You can always throw on an all white shoe, bro. It's simple. On from the Air Force, we're going into my Jordan 4s. Now the Jordan 4 is not my favorite shoe, but it is my favorite shoe to wear. It's just, it's a low top shoe. I'm short, so I told you guys before, low top shoes are generally easy to wear for people of shorter stature. That's just, that's just me keeping it one with you guys. So 
Staying within the women's category as well, we have the Canyon Purples. I picked these up last October, right after Halloween. So I didn't get to wear these on Halloween, unfortunately, but the current price for these in the women's size, which is converted to men's size, which is 11 and a half, is $301, which I wouldn't spend that much money on the shoe today, but it's a reasonable price for a shoe. My dad told me that I only wear these shoes once a year, and my dad is damn near right. The next Jordan 4 in my collection was actually one of my favorite shoes in my collection at the time I got it. It was a gift for myself for my birthday, I think when I turned 26 years old, but the Topaz 4s, um, I like the shoe. I like the shoe because the color when I got it, it was like, I liked how, you know, the front's black. I don't know. It was just, it was a dope shoe for me to have at the time. I hardly ever wear these now though. The current price for these in my size is $395, which is not bad. I don't even wear the shoe like that no more. I kind of wore them. I kind of beat these up. Like if you look at the toe box, it's kind of like worn through pretty bad, but 395 that would that used to be one of my favorite jordan 4s the next jordan 4 is actually another women's shoe i didn't realize how many women's shoes i actually had but the shimmer 4s i picked these up earlier this year um i really don't know why i got these if i'm gonna be like really honest with you i don't know why i got them i just got them because i liked i don't know i don't i don't know i can't even tell you why i got them but the current price for this women's shoe would again 11 and a half women's is 369 i don't think i got them for that price i think i paid more for them which was not intelligent by me at all but I have them. Now the next two pair of Jordan 4s are my favorite shoes in my entire collection. I'm gonna start with the one that cost the most first because those are the ones that I've wore the most. But my Union 4s, I did lace swap them to white. That's just what I do. The current price for my size right now is 904. I didn't pay that much for the shoe. I paid a little, a little less than that, but that's my favorite shoe. I like the color scheme. I like how different the shoe is. I love the I love the whole the whole Union collaboration. You guys have noticed. I ha well you'll you'll see. I have a lot of the Union Nike collab shoes. It's one of my favorite collaborations. I think as far as like my collection goes. So the Union Fours size nine and a half, nine oh four. Would I pay that price again for them? Probably. I'm not gonna lie. My favorite shoe as of right now is the Nike SB Jordan Four collaboration that just came out recently. The current price for my size is 365, size nine and a half. I would definitely pay that price again for them. I'm not even tripping. I have nothing to say. I have no comparison. I have nothing. Y'all saw when I got them how excited I was. But the Nike SB collab, I, I think they're gonna come out with more too. I've seen like concept of different colors, but I don't really care for those. Those are my favorite. Green is my favorite color. Jordan 4 is my favorite shoe to wear. These are very, very comfortable. Would I skate in them? If I had two pair, I would definitely skate in one of them for sure. Cause again, I used to be, I used to be on my kick flip, kick push back in back in my younger days. I mean, I kind of was, whatever. Though. For this segment, I'm gonna combine my Jordan One Lows with my Nike SBs, like my skate SBs, just cause I only have a few pair of those. But the first Jordan One Low I have is gonna be the most expensive, obviously. It's my Travs, the Fragment One Lows. I don't know. I got them when I when I really wanted them. I got them last summer, in the beginning of the summer last year. I only paid six fifty for them. My size nine and a half right now on Goat is two thousand dollars. But the reason I only paid six fifty was because I exchanged some bread and like some work on the back end for the shoe. I ended up helping a homie out with some content stuff for his company or whatever. So two bands was not. I mean, I wouldn't ever spend two bands on a shoe. Period. Period. But that's the most expensive. I thought my Union ones were the most expensive shoe. That's the most expensive shoe in my collection, right there. My Travi One Lows. This next Jordan One holds a lot of value to me. It was one of the first shoes I actually copped during COVID. But the pine green Jordan One Lows. I don't know why this shoe means so much to me, but it was like one of those shoes that like, I actually won it. This was like when COVID hit and like, you know, everybody was going through what they were going through, whatever. But I actually really, it took me like maybe two releases just to get this shoe. But the current price in my shoe size, size nine and a half is actually 435. And I'm shocked that these actually cost as much. I didn't even know that. So 435 for my pine green joint. So the last Jordan one low in my collection is the Mystic Navy Jordan one lows. I ended up picking these up at a Nike retail store. Uh, I believe last summer too, like late last summer I picked these up. It just happened to be at the Nike store and I just so happened to be there and the dude pulled them out and was like, do you want them? I'm like, sure. And then I got it for a discount too. So the current price in my size 11 and a half cause this is a women's shoe was 191. I think I only paid like 80 bucks for these shoes if I'm being completely honest with you. So this is a W. This is actually a cool shoe. I wear it to the gym. I don't know. It's not my favorite shoe to wear out, but it's cool. You know, it's a casual dope shoe to wear. Sometimes, maybe, 
I don't know. It's, I just, I got it because I got it. I got it because it was cheap. It's one of those things, it's like, you know, when you see a steal, you're like, I'm not going to pass up on a steal. This is like de definitely that opportunity where I did not want to pass up on a steal. So Mystic Navy's 191 on GOAT. Closing out this segment with the only two Nike SB dunks that I have, the first pair, I actually won in a raffle, the Nike SB, the Cherry Dunks. Um, the current price for these on GOAT in size nine and a half is $200. Would I pay $200 for these? No, I hardly ever wear these. I wear them to the gym sometimes, but like, I don't know, it's just like a regular red and maroon shoe. Nothing too like special. I tried to lace swap them in white, but I didn't really like them how they looked. So yeah, cherry dunks. And the last shoe, I'm actually shocked by the price that I saw in here, but the St. Patty's Day dunks. I got these as a birthday gift for my dad and I didn't really know I wanted them until like I got them. I'm like, damn, these are crazy. Then I lace swapped them to white and I'm like, damn, these are even crazier. But this shoe in a size 10 in which I have is $2,226 on GOAT right now. What? I can... $2,226 for this shoe right here. So, boom, let's move on before I say something stupid like I'm gonna sell them or something. So the last segment of shoes are all Nike Dunks and a couple like honorable mention or like miscellaneous shoes that I have in my collection. But we're gonna start with the dunks first. The first pair are the Huff Dunks. I picked these up recently in a size nine and a half. On GOAT, they are 272. That's reasonable. I feel like a lot of these shoes should be like relatively affordable. That's just my personal opinion. You know, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I feel like 272 resale value for a shoe like this is like reasonable. Moving on to the next Nike Dunk, I have the Team Red. This is a women's shoe. I picked this up from Shoe Palace when I went to the Forever 21 event. Um, I think I paid retail for these. The retail price was like 130 after taxes. The price of these on GOAT for my size is 154. So that's not bad. It's a couple bucks over retail. Like whatever. I don't I wear this shoe sometimes. I did lace swap them with the sale laces though. And I feel like they look a lot better. But 154 for the team reds. As I said earlier, I'm a big fan of the Union Nike collaboration. So I also have the Argon Union Dunks. Um, so that means I have the Union 1s, the Union 4s, and the Union Dunks. These on GOAT right now for my size, size 9.5, only run 241, which it's not bad for like a resale price for like a quote unquote exclusive shoe. Like this is a pretty well priced shoe. And it's really nice. I hardly ever wear these though because one, this shoe is like really loose. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like really, it's a, like the texture and the material that the shoe is made out of. Like the shoe never like got wore in for me. So like, I hardly wear these, but this is a really, really clean shoe. Ice blue with the ice bottom. Well, my ice, they're not ice no more. But yeah, 241 for these. So the last two shoes in my collection. The Bape Skatestas was like a really random pickup for me. I went to the store to get a pair of shoes and these just like caught my eye. I don't know why I don't really want them like that when I seen them, but I got them anyways. Size nine and a half, which is my size on GOAT right now. These are 255, which again is another reasonably priced shoe. This gives me like Nike Dunk vibes. It looks just like a Dunk. It's shaped the same as all the regular Dunks, but it's got the vape on it. I don't know. I picked these up randomly. So 255 for these, which is, it's reasonably priced for these. I feel like the regular bait, like Air Force One type shoes are a lot more expensive than these, but these skate sets are pretty clean. So the last shoe in my collection is actually my favorite Jordan. Like my favorite Jordan of all time is the Jordan 5. Like and. I might get scrutinized for that because a lot of people don't like Jordan 5s because of the bulkiness and because of the tongue, which I get it to each his own, whatever you prefer, which before, but the Jordan 5 is my favorite shoe. It's always always been my favorite shoe. But I have the Jade Horizon Jordan 5s. This was a birthday gift for my dad. I told him I wanted this particular shoe and he ended up finding it in my size. On GOAT, these are priced at 177, which is like way below retail because this is a colorway that most people didn't like, but I like this shoe a lot. Um, and I'm someone who's gonna buy the shoes or this was a gift, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get the shoes that I like, goddammit. So the total price for all of my sneakers, my whole collection comes to, this is OD2, $10,788, bro. I am in like pure shock. I had no, cause again, like I'm not no like real sneaker head like that to where I have a collection that's $10,000, but apparently I guess I do. So that is it for the sneaker unveil. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I'm dropping my next video. That is it for Project 30 Day 12. I'll be back with y'all tomorrow, but now I gotta pick my shoes up. So y'all have a good one. Damn, I gotta pick these all up, put them right back in the damn containers. This is ghetto, bro.